Good morning and welcome to week five. Hopefully you are already working ahead some. You have uh, looked at the items that are required this week. Uh, it's still a decent amount of work. You kind of had a light week last week and then you'll have a light week next week, the last week of the class. Uh, this week you've got uh, critical thinking questions. Uh, you've got an assignment about the atomic bomb. This is probably one of my favorite assignments you'll do all semester because it kind of puts the question in your hand, we still debate, should we have dropped the bomb? Was this the right thing to do? Which we have the luxury of time to do that, but obviously we can't change anything. So I always enjoy reading everybody's perspective. Um, it's it's still hotly contested and I understand why. Um, you do have something, it's kind of got an odd title. It's called the Graded Accessible Artifact. It's a reading and then questions that go with it. Um, it's, a, it's a well, point assignment. How do I say that? Yeah, it's a decent amount of points that go with it. So you absolutely should not skip this. You only have one discussion. But again, I love the civil rights movement. I am originally from Alabama. And so I have a lot of passion for all of that subject. So I'm real excited to read your uh, perspective on uh, the civil rights movement and modern technology. And then you've got another assignment of more critical thinking questions and then the Red Scare and McCarthy. Uh, anything to do with communism you know I, I tell my students from time to time that at this era of time where we've got the Red Scare and then obviously McCarthy being such a big part of that you could have uh, put somebody calling you a communist in the same vein as someone calling you uh, a curse word it really was such a, a dreaded title, a dreaded comment that we just were worked up into a fury. If you think about how much changes in this era of time, we go through the Second World War, we are going to deal with the ramifications post-war, we're setting ourselves up to be truly this world power with some pretty dangerous weaponry to back that up. You can see why some of this is uh, really a tumultuous time. My mom grew up in the era of the atomic bomb um, in terms of uh, my grandfather was an, uh, in the Air Force and so she grew up on Air Force bases and going to Air Force base schools and she talks about doing air raid uh, basically protocol if if they would do almost like I grew up doing tornado warnings and, and having to get under the desk or things like that she grew up doing that but with the fear of an atomic bomb being dropped and it's really kind of incredible that that era of of time we came out emotionally as healthy as we are if if I can make that reach uh, my mom uh, still talks about those noises and hearing that fearful tone of okay everybody get under their desk and cover their head uh, for fear like they're practicing the what if so this era is so intriguing to me I'm currently reading a book called the Pope and the war and it is it's literally talking about from the perspective of the Catholic Church what's happening in regards to the second world war and it is truly fascinating because it's not just looking at Pope Pius XII but it's also looking at his relationship with Mussolini um, how he is trying to somehow salvage the idea of, of uh, diplomacy with these other really really upsetting people and and it really is I really have a hard time reading it. I just don't know what to think of it. Um, there's part of me that understands that the Catholic Church really does have an important political perspective, but in the meantime, you have uh, beleaguered Catholics and certainly a gross number of Jewish people and organization that are coming to him or sending messages to him to say please save our people and uh his his trying to work through the the uh, ramifications of him speaking about those things so this era of time is particularly interesting to me please 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 work through this this is a lot of points this week uh those critical thinking questions two of those uh the atomic bomb the graded accessible artifact the um red scare and mccarthy assignment and then of course the discussion again the discussion question you have to post your answer by tomorrow which is wednesday and then you have to respond to two of your classmates by the end of the weekend uh, on sunday one last time i'll remind you that this class will close on friday the 30th not on a Sunday. So do make sure that as you're looking ahead, don't get lost in that. Make sure that you are really on track. Thanks a lot and have a great week.